Hi, welcome to Sue Marie P. My name's Sue and today I'm going to share a no-bake mint slice. I had a request from one of my viewers and she said, could you do a mint slice? So here's the one I created. So what I did was I did it out of crushed Oreo biscuits on my base. I did a mint filling and a chocolate top. Three steps. So let's start with the first step. We've got a twin pack of Oreo biscuits, which is 28 biscuits, and I've scraped all the cream off them. I'm just going to blend them in my food processor so I get the biscuit base. If you don't have a food processor, you can bash them in a plastic bag to crush them up. So let's just whiz them up. I think it looks like sand now, so it looks pretty good. Yeah, we're good to go. So grab a large bowl and we're going to pour all that crumb mix into the bowl. And then in my saucepan here, I've melted 125 grams of unsalted butter. And I'll pop some notes up above for ounces for anyone in America. Oh, I've allowed it to cool as well. Grab it, your square tin or um, slice tin. I've just lined it, greased it and lined it with paper. Um, one one way and one the other way. So you're going to press this biscuit base in. And then just go back over it with this. You want to get it relatively even. Now I'm going to chill this in my freezer. If you don't have room in your freezer, you can pop it in the fridge for 30 minutes and then we'll do our next step, which is the mint filling. So step two, we're going to make the mint filling. And it's quite sweet, but it tastes delicious. It's like, for any of my Australian viewers, it's a cross between a mint patty and a mint sliced biscuit. So in this bowl, I've sifted 500 grams of icing sugar, which is four cups. I'm just going to take out a little bit and pop it into this small bowl. So we want to start mixing in a little bit of butter. I've got 30 grams of unsalted butter. And in my kettle here, I've got some boiling water. So I'm going to pop in about three tablespoons to start with. And then I'll add a little bit more if I need it. We just want to try and make a really smooth mint paste. So I'm going to add a little bit more water in here. So another three tablespoons. And to make it minty, I've got some peppermint drops here. So I'm going to add about eight drops of this, which is about a teaspoon. And you can add more or less depending on how minty you like it. And let's add some more of that icing sugar. And the balance of the icing sugar. So if you can see that, it's kind of like this really thick paste. We don't want it too runny because then it won't set. I think that's going to be good to just add on to our base. So I've got an offset spatula which I use for icing on standby. Little tip, I might just grab some of that hot water and pop my knife into it. So I've got a glass of the boiling water. Let's just do that. Much easier to make it smooth. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to pop this in the fridge for another 30 minutes to chill. Next step, we need to make our chocolate to go on top of the slice. So I've got a heat proof bowl here and I've got a little bit of water in my saucepan. So I'm just going to turn on my induction hop and if you've got a microwave you can zap it in the microwave for um, three short 30 second bursts. I don't have a microwave so I do it this way and I love dark chocolate so I'm going to use a 70% dark chocolate and I'm just going to break it up and pop it in here. You can use a 50% chocolate, dark chocolate, you can use milk chocolate, your choice. And I have made this slice before for a friend who doesn't eat dairy and I just made sure that my chocolate was vegan friendly and I used non-dairy butter in the recipe and it turned out fine. And I've also made it, uh, when I was doing it for my friend that was vegan, the only chocolate I could get was 150 gram block. So I ended up just using that and added a little bit more butter and it was still fine. But today I'm using 200 grams of chocolate. I love this Minia's brand because it's quite fine, see? And it melts really quickly. So we want to melt this and then cool it before we pop it onto our mint top. 
And to make the chocolate really silky and smooth, I add a little bit of oil. So one tablespoon of oil. So I'll let that do its thing. And I'll have a cup of tea while I'm waiting. And you've got this beautiful glossiness come from the oil. And in the, the oil I used was just a, a vegetable oil, which I think was a rat seed. You can also use coconut oil too, if you prefer. I'm going to turn that off because I think we're ready. And we'll jiggle it around just so it's all smooth and even. Tap it a few times. That's it. Now we're going to chill it overnight and I'll come back tomorrow and I'll slice it up and we'll do a taste test. So it's the next day and we're back with our mint slice and ready to try and chop it up and show you so we can do a taste test. So I've got some hot water in a glass here and my little Victorinox knife and I just need to wipe that because it's good to have it hot but not wet. I'm going to slice down the middle just to score it and I think I'm going to slice it into 16 pieces but as I said earlier in my video it's quite rich so you may want to do smaller pieces. I'm just going to swap over to the bigger knife because I think I need to cut through with the bigger knife. Okay I'm going to cut half and then in little threes so I'm going to do more than 16 squares. Okay let me come closer and I'm going to do a taste test for you. So check that out we've got our Oreo biscuit base, mint filling and chocolate on top. Mm, a mint patty just collided with a mint slice. It's so good. I love this. The crunchy Oreo biscuit base is really good. The mint filling is quite sweet but still delicious. And the dark chocolate top. What's not to love? If you've liked my video hit thumbs up. Don't forget share it with a friend. If you make this write a comment below and let me know what you think and I'll pop a few other no-bake ideas up above and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yum yum yum.